everybody, and welcome to another pick a card reading. This is a very popular reading type on my channel, and I try to make as many of them as possible, usually once a month. So um, if you like this reading type, I have many more on my channel. I have a playlist where you can watch all of my pick a card readings. You can find the, uh, find it in the description of this video. So today's topic is going to be work. And by picking a chess piece, you're going to identify the problem. So we have four options here. The white knight, the black knight, the white bishop, and the black bishop. And after we have revealed the problem, we're going to pull another card to identify the solution. Okay? So I would like to ask you to sit back or lay down, relax your mind, your spirit, and make your choice. Which one is it going to be? The white knight? black knight, the white bishop, or the black bishop? Which one are you feeling most attracted to? And when you've made your choice, you'll be able to uh, jump to that part of the video where I talk about your card. If you picked the first option, which is the white knight. You don't have to jump anywhere because we're going to start with your reading right away. All right. So what we have here is the ace of wands. Ace of Wands is basically the Ace of Fire. So you have a lot of energy, a lot of motivation to get things done, but no clear direction. The Aces, they always represent potential, but there's a lack of understanding as to how you could make your plans a reality. So your problem is that you lack the direction in your life. You're not sure where to channel these energies into. You're driven by a desire to do good in this world. You want to change things as quickly as possible. There's an impatience to the Ace of Wands as well. But sometimes you have to wait and sometimes you need to figure out where you want to go first before you get started. So I'm going to pick a second card which is going to give you some advice. Perhaps you're at a crossroads with your career, not sure what direction to take next. Perhaps you're only starting out. You're a fresh graduate, ready to start working, but not sure where to even start. Perhaps you're still a student. It's that sort of energy, it's the energy of beginnings. Okay, let's see the advice for you. And interestingly, it's another ace, but this time it's the ace of pentacles. So, both of them are skulls, but very different skulls. 
The first one is a skull of fire, and the second one is a, a skull of earth. So this is pretty much the same energy, but in an earthy realm. So perhaps the easiest way for you to get started is to transfer this energy of hesitation and direction seeking into the earthy material realm. Meaning that you don't have to find your passion right now. There's no need to put pressure on yourself to be creative and come to a, a perfect solution. Instead, start small and put your focus on material abundance and stabilization. So this is still kind of a dispersive energy, but now that it's transferred to the material realm, it is possible to make things happen here because even if you don't have a clean-cut vision of what you want to achieve in the long term, in a short-term sense, you can make steps that are objectively, measurably good. You can buy equipment, make an investment into your next step. And it doesn't even necessarily matter what it is going to be. It's more about inviting this energy of earthiness into the situation. So burning with this fire of, of uh, intensity but not knowing where to channel your energy into is not going to lead anywhere. This is telling me that as soon as you make an investment of some kind, probably material, so probably financial, but it can also be uh, your time, effort, energy. Um, it doesn't matter which direction you choose at this point. It's the act of communicating to your subconscious that you're ready to make changes on the material level. So let's say you're stuck not knowing if you should become, you know, a dancer or a uh, film director. Perhaps you're torn between those, those two options. Now, what you can do is, depending on how many resources are available to you, is uh, buying the necessary outfit for your dance practice or getting that camera that is going to help you make videos or calling that friend who's got the experience to help you edit your videos. Some sort of a, an investment needs to be made. Doesn't matter in which direction that is going to invite you to have more of that practical, pragmatic energy in your life. So instead of trying to um, trying to figure out what you cannot figure out, which is what you should be doing on the long term, look at what you can make available to yourself at this moment. If you picked the Black Knight, let's see what your card is. It's the Five of Pentacles. All right. So this card can indicate money problems, material hardship, um, financial setbacks, and just a general sense of having to struggle 
with your with the generating resources for yourself and so in this situation you might feel like your choices are limited like it's not up to you what happens it's almost like your fate is not in your hands anymore and that's a very unsettling feeling but I hope that you know that it's not true it doesn't matter what's going on in your life there's always a way out always always so let's see what you can do to financially stabilize yourself to um, to receive more help and support and compensation for your work from the outside world let's see what you need to do all right here we go okay so seven of wands it's quite a beautiful card isn't it red forest sort of autumn style and the message here is that you should not go down without a fight the seven of wands is an energy of standing up for yourself the reason why you are in this um, uncomfortable position where you feel this uh, scarcity w wavelength around you is because you haven't taken the time to stand up for yourself recently and so it's showing you, this card is showing you that without having your boundaries, without saying no, there's really no opportunity for a yes either. And what I mean by that is, it seems to me like there's an energy constantly pushing and pulling you and you feel helpless against it. This could be your workplace, this could be your, your social status, society as a whole, and um, it could just be debts weighing you down and stuff like that. And when you're in that sort of mindset and in that situation, it's very hard to not feel guilty. And when you feel that guilt energy that negative, sticky feeling of what have I done wrong? And you might have done some things wrong, but in your current situation, the process that is going to help you is if you stand up for yourself and demand what's yours. Perhaps some people have uh, crossed you in certain ways perhaps you didn't ask for that raise because you feel, felt like you weren't deserving of it um, perhaps some sort of injustice happened to you along the way where you didn't stand up and you didn't say anything now it's important to mention here that the seven of wands is not about violence so this isn't the dark night rising although we are talking about the black night here but um, it's important to remember that physical aggression and violence and nastiness is not solving anything you can stand up for yourself in a firm and decisive way without being a destructive force in the world and so 
if you'd like to improve your situation, first and foremost, what you need to do is you need to think about those aspects of your life right now where you feel unfairly oppressed or taken advantage of in some way. And you need to go into those situations with the mindset that your boundaries cannot be crossed anymore. And however small the situation may be, uh, it's a symbolic act of, of telling the other person, no, you cannot use me, you cannot take advantage of me. And once you do that, once you communicate this to the world and to yourself in whatever small way possible, you will start to change and shift the course of events in your life. You will see more respect coming towards you and more um, opportunities rising. So while you can, before it's too late, it's time for you to take charge and say no to those people who are trying to bring you down. And it doesn't matter if, uh, you know, if, if this is successful or not. The emphasis is on your willingness to be confrontational, to decline um, and reject people's requests who you have no time for. If they ask you for money, for example, but you don't have it and you don't want to give it, you don't have to. There's no reason you should feel uh, pressured to do so. And the more you ease into the art of saying no, the more abundance is going to come your way. The white bishop. Let's see what the problem is here. We have the Ten of Cups. Now, the Ten of Cups is a generally very pleasant card. Uh, but if it symbolizes a problem, I would say that it symbolizes um, either your family, who are very, who have a great influence on you, or your circle of friends who are very close to you and emotionally supportive but also a little bit overbearing so the ten of cups as a negative as a problem could speak about those emotional threads and energetic cords that are generated by uh, social living, these emotional attachments that inspire us or incentivize us to do things, but also hold us back in certain cases. So I'm seeing you in the middle of a, of a very warm and supportive network which on the one hand is, is a good thing, but it's also limiting because if you don't want to lose this, you know, um, this resonance, this emotional vibing, you have to be a certain way. You have to give emotional energy to these people around you. And you cannot take on certain extra responsibilities because that would take away from, um, from your time and from the space that you have in your life to, to give to people. 
So, yeah, um, belonging somewhere on the one hand is very healthy and, and uh, a very good thing. But as with everything in life, there's a need for balance. And there might be an imbalance here. There might be a, a difficulty being different than what people are expecting of you. So let's see what your advice is on this situation. Here we go. It's the Hierophant. Very exciting. All right. So the Hierophant is the Major Arcana card. And it's about learning. And especially the types of learning that happens in formal contexts. So the Hierophant represents the power and the authority of those institutions that are supposed to impart knowledge. And these institutions include universities, religions, schools of thought, philosophies, books, but also the tarot. So it's all of those mediums that accumulate and spread information and knowledge over centuries, generations of people sometimes. And so this is a very different energy than the Ten of Cups because the Ten of Cups lives in the moment. The Ten of Cups represents a need to be embraced and loved and pampered, which is nice. But what you need more of is a mentor. You have friends. You have people who stand by you, who emotionally support you when you're down. They are kind of like this warm blanket that you can rely upon but the direction that's needed here is more in the direction of a mentoring relationship with somebody who can help you in a different way perhaps give you criticism um, constructive criticism who can give you a direction who has an expertise in whatever you're interested in moving forward open yourself to a very different kind of love because I think what you're used to is gentleness it's uh, an emotive sensitivity from your environment which sometimes of course can be manipulative or overbearing and it can make things you know very sticky and uh, and kind of toxic because water has the element of water has this tendency to to generate toxicity if there's too much of it too much stale water you know uh, creates a uh, a very un unhealthy, swampy environment. Open yourself to a different kind of love and teaching and guidance and allow those sort of people to enter into your life, invite them into your life and let them show you a different, a different way because that's where you can make the most progress in your cur current situation. So even if it's uncomfortable and un unusual, allow yourself to 
expose yourself to the influence of these people and see what happens. Let's see the black bishop. What is the problem here? And we have the queen of wands. Very beautiful card. You're very charismatic. You have a lot of certainty about what you want to do, how you want to do it. You know what you're looking for. You know what makes you feel good. And this is a fiery queen, so there's a lot of passion here. A passion for something that you love doing. But in your passion and your creative explosions, you sometimes forget about others. So there might be um, a disproportionate emphasis on you as an individual, you as a career person, you as somebody who's in the limelight, you as somebody who gains a lot of attention while other people cannot shine. So working in a team, working with other people is extremely hard for you because people cannot keep up with you and I want to see if there's anything that you can do here to to maximize your potential but at the same time not become too too much and we have the knight of pentacles for you as a as a, a compensation or or a guidance card interesting so this is the queen of wands so this is the queen of fire and this is the knight of pentacles the knight of earth earth is a stable solid sort of energy practical um, calm for the most part although knights um, have a, a volatility perhaps the knight of pentacles is the least volatile and unpredictable of all of them but still there's uh, more restlessness in the knight of pentacles than any other court cards in the pentacles suit so this companion could be a good match for you have you thought about teaming up with someone who's like this? Who's like the Knight of Pentacles? Someone who um, thinks in terms of, of practicalities. Someone who has an objective mind. Uh, someone who's hardworking, but also knows how to have fun. Someone who will not compromise with you on the things that really matter things that matter from a material perspective so somebody who has that mindset that practical mindset that can pull you down back to earth when necessary but at the same time it has that little bit of that spice of craziness that um, that can make things interesting because you get bored easily um, this person can be younger than you but um, also sort of the same uh, the same age as you are approximately and the attraction the chemistry between the two of you can create a, a great working relationship this could be a great enterprise uh, with your charisma and popularity and your ability to engage people um, and his or her work ethic and ability to think 
along the lines of profit and and budgets and goals and deadlines it could be a great match um, this person would not threaten your uniqueness because they are unique themselves but they are not as extroverted and the queen of wands represents someone who from a career perspective and i want to emphasize this because sometimes you know uh, people are very confident and expressive in their careers but in their private life they can be a totally different person so this is not you generally it's just you in relation to your work so there's a great balance here a great chemistry that you should consider or alternatively if you don't have this sort of person in your life yet you can implement some techniques that the knight of pentacles would use to focus and motivate himself uh, you know with uh, to-do lists or other tricks to uh, go around the human propensity to procrastinate it's these um, you know these tips and tricks and methods to put more focus on productivity and once you try to once you try to implement more of that in your life you will more likely to stumble upon your knight of pentacles who's going to who could be a great manager for example i could see you being an artist uh, teaming up with a manager type person or you could be an entrepreneur who's got the ideas the marketing strategy but doesn't have the patience to actually develop the product so it's something like that uh, a relationship like that that could definitely keep you move or, or help you move forward thank you everyone for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it and i hope to see you in another video